we now have 280,000 stars uh, interacting with uh, between the two galaxies. This simulation actually shows that in about three and a half billion years from now, these galaxies are going to collide. So get your affairs in order. Um, we have about a 50% chance of our star being thrown out into space when the Milky Way collides. Uh, but to perform this calculation, it can't be done with a, with a regular n-body code. Instead, we use what's called an octree code, where we approximate uh, distant stars as a set, uh, a group of distant stars, we can approximate them as a single larger star. And what you can see here is that we've broken up, the, this is a data structure, showing uh, the space split up into boxes. And we recursively, uh, if there are too many stars in one box, we recursively split the box into eight separate spaces uh, and then see how many stars are contained in that box. Uh, and so there's a data-dependent adaptive grid that recursively splits the space up into smaller and smaller pieces until there are just 16 stars inside each one of those boxes. Uh, this requires an adaptive algorithm that can be done on Fermi. In fact, there was a team of researchers that implemented this code on Fermi, and it took them many, many months. One of our researchers was able to take the kernel of this code and port it to use Kepler in just a single weekend. Uh, much, much easier to perform this sort of adaptive algorithm. And we get uh, stunning results now. Uh, much, much uh, higher performance than could be done uh, with Fermi and the ability to do these dynamic algorithms which recursively break this problem into smaller problems and launch additional threads uh, based on the data all running on the GPU. Uh, we're tremendously excited about this. Uh, this is going to make open up a whole new realm of problem areas that work well on GPUs.